Hey, this is Left Technical, and in this video, I'm going to talk about command line arguments. Command line arguments are simply arguments that are passed to the main function on when the uh, application first starts. A command line argument usually contains a file name or a switch, actually several switches and several file names. Um, command line arguments um, allow you to pass file names into the main function and then from the main function you can pass the arguments into the form one into your form constructor or wherever and then you can open up file streams and the file names or you can specify or you can yeah you can you can have certain boot up behaviors according to the switches so like internet explorer for instance um, if you if you send dash safe mode uh, into the executional the Internet Explorer will um, boot up in safe mode which is like no add-ons and there's several other command line switches you can use for Internet Explorer um, you can boot applications up with certain switches by running them in, running them with a command prompt and specifying the switches there or creating a shortcut and specifying the switches in the shortcut which is I think is one of these start in or target I believe it is start in and you can put whatever that could be a switch you never know dash s alright so to implement command line args you gotta make sure that the main function accepts a string array and you can just by convention call it args like that and then here I pass it into the form one constructor and you gotta make sure the form one constructor also accepts string array and I have a string array arguments here so that's where the arguments go and then here the arguments are put into a global variable um, private string array underscore arguments that's my global variable and here is my switch I'll talk about that later just let me implement the constant alright so again this is my global arguments these are my or sorry these are my global arguments and that's what I'm gonna operate on um, here I just check to see if the switch is in place if it is then we're gonna set we're gonna set the bool separate text to true and that just means separate the text when we first load the text files and down here this just makes sure that we don't load the switch as a file name so if s is equal to switch then continue just skip this file name and move on to another string and for each string we're gonna create a text reader and that text reader is going to read the file and load it into the rich text box one text property and down here um, we just check to see if the switch um, switch separate text bool to true and if it did then we're going to space each um, text file alright so I'm going to demonstrate this well we're going to demonstrate um, loading the text files without the switch for now so we're just going to go into the folder and we're gonna just drag and drop these into my executional and it's gonna pass this these the three strings that represent the um, text files file name into the executional and it's gonna load them one by one into the um, text box and I did not specify to space them so they're just gonna load one after another of course and then I um, can also do this in the command prompt hence command line arguments so I'm just gonna copy this folder into my C directory so I don't have to do so much configuring in the command prompt alright so let's open up the command prompt and navigate to the working directory of my application. 
all right now I'm in the executional directory finally and I'm going to reference my CLA executional and the three files here and it's going to load them in with without the spacing um, you don't have to put uh, the file extension for the executional but you do with the text files Alright, as you see, it loaded in my text files into the application. Now we're going to do it with the command line switch that I showed you, and it's just going to space them out. Now, to really see if your switches are working, put the switch in between two files. So my switch is dash sep. and it worked flawlessly as you see here file 1 space file 2 space file 3 alright that should be about it um, this is left technical hope you learned something peace